Can't stop it, John. Watch me. Go ahead. Say it. I'll make a lawsuit much simpler. Say stop building or else. I'm skipping straight to or else with you, you c***er. And from now on, or else is all you get. And by the way, you owe me a horse, you son of a bitch. Yellowstone premieres one week from tomorrow on the Paramount Network. Please welcome Kevin Costner. Excited? Do you know you're like a, a real movie star and now television star as well? <laughs> well, you did a television show previously, but boy, I like this show a lot. Yellowstone, yeah, it's really I, good. It, I saw it last night for the first time, and it was, you know, you always. I start with the idea that they can be great. Sometimes somewhere along the line, it goes somewhere else, and this, this just turned out really great. So um, it's interesting to me that you saw it for the first time last night. Yeah. Because as a director and writer and all of these things that you do, that you would relinquish so much control. Yeah. Is that hard for you? Not really. No. I mean, sometimes you just want somebody else to drive. You uh -huh. know? And and th what, what you're hoping, though, is that they have the strength and the vision to kind of battle all the, the decisions that might want to lessen it. You know, a lot of times people are fearful of things that they haven't seen. And so those things find a way of just drifting out. And our director, Taylor Sheridan, really uh, kind of held the line. You are on a horse a lot, it seems like. Do <laughs> parts with horses find you, or do you find the parts with the horses? Yeah, I, mean, you know, I kind of go with my right hand. If I can get them in there, I will. Uh -huh. uh, but no, it's it just, yeah, the, the parts just had it. And, uh, and I played serial killers where there was no horse. But, uh, <laughs> you know, bodyguard, I don't recall a horse. But you're, you're right. I, I'm always going to go to those. I mean, uh, the problem is, it's really hard to make a good Western. You, I mean, a lot of people under, can do the black hat, white hat really easy, but when they're complicated, they start to thin out in the level of quality. And when a Western is really great, you never forget it because you kind of actually, when it's, they're orchestrated correctly, you actually find yourself wondering what you would have done if you would have actually made it. Did you shoot this movie on the border of Yellowstone? Is that yeah, where well, we were in Montana. We were actually in the... I mean, that's the great thing about working outside. I mean, for me, you know, it wasn't so great in school, but I was good at recess. I love being outside. <laughs> you know, I, I, anywhere I could go. And it's been the same way with movies. I mean, I made JFK, made a lot of things that put me in the courtroom. But when, I, when you're outside, there's... I mean, I have a really good job. It's a really good job. And in this instance, we're working where Lewis and Clark went right through. I think some of your fishing holes, Huey's there at Bitterroot. Oh, yeah, up where yeah. Huey Lewis lives, yeah. yes, and yes. so that's where we're doing it. I mean, we're depicting, you know, modern-day ranching, and... Uh, Do you it, stay on a ranch when you're there? Well, uh, no, I get, I get a house, but when, when I'm working, I don't really stay where everybody else does. I, there's, like, a base camp where people come, and they eat. It's dusty, dirty. I, I, I go find a river. I tell them to put my trailer there. And when I come to work, the, I got a fire going outside, and pretty soon everybody gets hip to where I'm at. And the next thing you know, there's seven, eight people around the fire, and it's a, <laughs> it's pretty social for me. You know, the work is great, but uh, I'm describing recess. It That's sounds what I great. So bad. It really does sound yeah, great. It is good. It also sounds like you're trying to get a little bit of time to yourself, and everyone is coming and bothering you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Maybe I got up. <laughs> when was the first time you rode a horse? How old were you? I was, uh, I had left uh, Compton, and we, my father moved us up into Ojai, and uh, some kids, kids had uh, some horses, and I looked at that, and I said, let's ride them. And they said, well, no one's around, no adults around. I thought, well, that's perfect. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, so, you know, I, for very early on, I just had an idea of... Uh, a kid from Compton who wanted to ride a horse. Yeah, I just... Yeah. You know, I, I was I was hard on everything. I was hard on my my dog when I was little. I, I, I would like attack him and wrestle him and stab him a lot of times. <laughs> five, six years old, over the couch. And so, as I moved to horses, the next thing you know, I said, "Well, let's get on this horse." I said, "Well, we don't have any. So let's ride him without anything." And if there's a branch, I saw Robin Hood do that stuff. And you know, you ride the horse. And I was always this close to being hurt or really in trouble. Were you a good kid? Yes, you were. Were you? <laughs> 
<laughs> but you misbehaved. Uh... I was a bit of a rascal. Uh huh. You know, it was hard to it was hard to keep me in, and uh, I wouldn't be. And when they finally took me up to the country, they you know I'm six years old, and I was out in it. Did your parents like the? Did they love the outdoors? Were they outdoorsy? People? Yeah, they. So we we didn't have a lot of money. Our vacations were intense with the Coleman stoves. We'd go up to you know Bishop and. You know, I, I had a real Huckleberry kind of life, but we didn't have a lot of money, but everything was uh, camping, what we could afford. Did your dad teach you that stuff? Was he yeah, somebody that yeah, loved I want, Yeah, he, he did. I just just watched him. You want to be like him. You know, I'm not like him in every way, but, you know, we just wanted... You what know. ways are you not like him? Well, uh, he didn't like snakes. I loved them. You, oh, as a kid? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You I mean, loved I mean, snakes? Well, I, I loved everything that was out there, and huh. I would bring it home, and, and he was the kind of guy that, <laughs> yeah, he was the kind of guy that, that um, you know, snakes bothered him so much, even if he sees them on TV, he had to get it, like, out of the room, you know. Really? Yeah, oh. one of that, 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 kind of, that kind of guy, and, of course, I'm, like, six, and I, and I had one, and I said, where's Dad? And she says, it's in the bathtub, and I'm thinking, my dad doesn't take baths, but he was so filthy, he climbed line, he was a lineman, and he was in the bathtub, and I thought, this is perfect, he can see it, and I, and I brought a king snake in about a 4 one and he about went down the drain. He, he said, Kevin! I, I always saying my name real loud, Kevin! And so I, I get that out of here, get rid of it, so, so of course, I, I, I did, and I, I really had, sh I shook him up pretty bad, and I went with my mom, and I, I said, how bad is he? And he said, well, he's outside, honey. Just leave him alone. He's relaxing. <laughs> and, um, and he's, uh, he's having a, he's gonna have a, a cigarette. And cause my mom would make him smoke outside. And all of a sudden, I heard my name again, this time louder. And I thought, I thought he was relaxing. What's wrong? And I, w I went outside, and there was this, like, little coffee table where he hid his cigarettes where he wouldn't smoke inside. And that's where I put the snake when he told me to get rid of it. <laughs> and, uh, and so he opened it, and, and it was a big that king snake. And so I heard my name again, again. <laughs> where it was, it was always, it was always. I was not, I, 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 I was the kind of kid that couldn't remember that I, what I had done wrong. So I thought, what could be? Those uh, are the worst kind I'd of kids. I'd already been in trouble. How yeah. could I be in trouble twice? Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.